All right, so boxes. Glazing boxes is basically the same thing as we've been doing with all of our projects as far as using the bucket glazes. Um, we're gonna start with the inside first, okay? And then we'll do the outside. But because we have a lid, um, there's a couple of different things that I wanted to show you guys that is going to be a little bit different. So, as we always do, start out by rinsing your project off completely. That includes not only the outside, but the inside as well. I give them a good shake just to kind of get as much of the water off as I can. Now, while these are drying, um, I'm gonna pick out whichever color it was. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the jet black, okay? Um, do you go ahead and make sure, mixed up really, really well, all right? Um, as before, we're gonna go ahead and give it that old good old finger test, okay? And that looks about right, okay? I can see the outline of my fingernail, but I can't see the color of it. Um, that's usually a good indication that the glaze is about right. All right, my box and my lid are just about dry, so I'm ready to go ahead and start glazing. Um, as we've done before, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop up a little bit of the glaze, fill the inside of it about halfway, set it down, and then I'm going to spin it as I dump it out, making sure I coat every last little bit of the inside of that. If I don't, okay, I can always throw a little bit more in there. Miss one little spot there and one little spot there. All right. Now you're probably looking at this going, oh my gosh, there's black glaze all over the place. Not the end of the world. Remember, we can always just clean that off with a damp sponge. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for my lid, okay. So the lid is basically, okay, if we look at it this way, is like a bowl. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, as before, fill it about halfway, and then make sure I coat all those sides. Now, because it's a lot more shallow, I might not be able to get that, and especially because of the shape of my um, lid, it just may not work. So I'm just gonna kind of dump in, and then tip the glaze, tip the lid so the glaze covers the whole thing. All right, so again, I've got a bunch of stuff that ran around the sides, okay? All of this stuff on the sides, I can go ahead and clean that off with a damp sponge, all right? Make sure your sponge is clean when you do this. It'll help, okay? And then, as you can see, the glaze just magically disappears.